Hi, this is Chris Wall at the Wall Network, and today I'm going to show you how to log into the VMware vSphere web client without having to specify a, dom a domain for the username. Now, this may sound kind of trivial, but frankly, you log into this thing a lot, and saving some time is always a good thing. And you're not always able to use that Windows session authentication. Maybe you've even disabled it. I don't know. Uh, but the trick is this. So first, I will try to log in using one of my full admin kind of test accounts here in the in the lab, and his name is Bob Sponge and put in his password. Now, I already know this is going to fail because I haven't set it up yet, and by default this will fail because I didn't specify a domain name. Now, if I actually went in and put the full-on uh, domain at the end here, I haven't changed the password just to show you that I'm not you know, using a fake password or anything, you'll see it is able to log in. So just the fact that I put in the domain name makes it work. So let me log off on that and show you how to make it so that we don't need to do that. I'm going to switch over to my account. I'm now logged in as my Chris account. And what you'll need to do is go to Administration. And then under Sign On and Discovery, there's a Configuration button. And here we've got all the different identity sources. Now by default, you'll notice that you've got the System Domain uh, Identity Source, which is built into SSO, so that's there. And probably the vCenter server or the SSO server that you've installed it upon will be here. And in my case, I installed it on vCenter. And the name of the vCenter server is vCenter. I know it's very creative. Uh, and I've also added my Active Directory uh, domain that's in the lab. But you'll notice down here, I've only got two options for default domain, vCenter and system domain. And really, default domains is how SSO kind of goes through its list of domains that it knows of in case it doesn't know what domain to authenticate you to. So first, it'll try vCenter, and then it'll try system domain. Obviously, Bob Sponge doesn't belong to either one of those. So all I need to do is click on the Active Directory identity source up here. We'll click the Add to Default Domains button here. And it's going to say, be, be warned, don't add a ton of domains as defaults because it might try against all the different domains and ultimately lock you out. So click OK. We understand the risk. And I'm going to move Glacier.local all the way to the top of the list. So that will be the first domain that is tried when you put an account in without a domain name. It's the first identity source that will be queried to log in that account. Now I'll hit the Save button here. And you can ignore this wheel of death thing just spins forever. I don't, maybe it's a bug or something. I've got a slightly older version of vCenter 5.1, but you can ignore that. Looks good, everything's saved. Now I'm going to switch back to this login, and we'll try putting in Bob Sponge with no domain name, and log in. And it's amazing, no domain name necessary. Just be warned that if you have the same account name on two different domains, you're not going to be able to use that trick because it's just going to authenticate you against the first domain in the list. So if you wanted to authenticate to that second domain, you'd have to actually type it in. There you have it. Pretty simple trick. Uh, just a few clicks and you're ready to go. Enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information valuable, make sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, please become a subscriber. For more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.